they will know what it is for. Some of them may be able to utilize it. Some of them may be able, when they are in its presence and when it is in their presence, to activate certain electromagnetic phenomena around it that may be visible to you. Look for ionization of the air in the dark. Look for certain sparklings of light in the air that may represent motes, in a sense, representing the idea you call miniature gateways, miniature doorways, the preamble to the opening of a major door, a major gate. You may see them as sparkling light. They may be ghostly, nebulous at first. Some of them may be very bright pinpoints of light in the air. All of these phenomena will be indicative that the skull will recognize when it is in the presence of an integrated mentality, an integrated consciousness that wishes to use it as a doorway. Because of your telepathic communications with the dolphin, you can allow them to tutor you, to guide you as to the proper use of the opening of that doorway to help integrate the fears and the different levels that you have fragmented your consciousness into so that you can approach the doorway as an integrated being. Many individuals when they approach that doorway as a non-integrated being, will conjure up images and vibrations on the emotional level, in the emotional body, that will generate fear within them. And that is what makes them back off and make sure the door stays closed to individuals who are not integrated. You follow me? Yes. Will, when the dolphins are in communication with the skull and then they in turn communicate with us, will this communication be along the lines that it has been all along a sort of a subliminal uh, mood perspective, very subtle shift, or... You may feel great tuggings in your emotional form. Anxiety rushes at first, perhaps. Temperature differences within your solar plexus. These will all be indications that you are standing in the presence of a very powerful ethereal magnetic field.